Okay, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I've been working on this spine for probably eight hours. It's, it's maddening. I wanted to show you what I came up with before I glue it on. So let's start. This is the way it's, it looks. So it has the enjoy the little things up here, that piece there, and then just some um, little cutouts from the various places that have these little pastries. So let me take this off. So the way this works all these bits. So this is just going to be the same 12 by 12 that you used um, underneath the front cover. I haven't put the front cover on yet. So you're going to get this piece. I haven't inked anything yet. And you're going to cut it to fit here. So mine comes out to it's about one and three quarters inches wide by, it should be eight and seven eighths. Yes, about eight and seven eighths inches long. So that's the first piece, that's just the background. Then I cut out this piece, this is from the 12 by 12. Here's the little dots, the orange dots. I haven't inked my edges yet. And I believe this is exactly, what did I say this was? One and three quarters. One and three quarters, this should be I thought I cut them exactly the same. It's a little bit, I mean, a, it's just an itty bitty difference. Uh, so it's just an itty bitty difference than one and three quarters. And its length is just make it eight. Mine's not quite eight, but just make it eight. It doesn't really matter. Just make that eight. So that's going to go somewhere here. Then this is from the 8x8 eight eight collection. This strip, enjoy the little things. And I just cut it in between the cups. So it fits exactly right there. So it's like, it's exactly, I don't know if you can see that. This is not all arranged yet, but it's exactly the same width. Enjoy the little things. So that sits up there. So that's the base piece that you have so far. Now this next thing you do not have to do, I just like to do them. I wrapped a piece of chipboard in my black cardstock because I want it just to get a little bit of dimension. I don't know, I just like doing this. This is wrapped, it's like six and six and three quarters inches long, six and three quarters inches long, and one and a quarter inches wide. So that's just the wrapped, it's just wrapped cardstock. You do not have to do this. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. On top of this wrapped cardstock, you're going to be using this piece, which is from the eight by eight collection. It's basically going to be cut just so you have whatever you your wrapped piece comes out, you're just going to cut it so you have a little bit of black reveal all the way around. So whatever um, size your wrapped 
Did I say wrapped cardstock? Wrapped chipped board? Oh my gosh, this is wrapped chipboard. It's two o'clock in the morning. I don't even know what I'm saying. Whatever your wrapped chipboard came out to be, you're going to cut this piece from the eight by eight. So it's just showing you a little bit of black reveal. And then that's going to be going up like here. Go to your, what is this? This is the 12 by 12 paper and cut out this piece. And you're going to be trimming it. See where the, the dark got the little edging of the, got the orange and then you got that little blue right there on both sides. So you cut this piece out, which is about one and an eighth by, this is coming out to, is that six and a half? About six and a half, about six and a half. So six and a half inches long. And the width is just between that blue and that blue. And then I used my scallop punch, the scallop guy. I just did the edges with the scallop punch there and there. I thought that gave it a good look. And then that will go lay right there. That is just so, I just think that is so pretty. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to glue all these pieces separately. So I'm going to ink, ink this, then I'm going to center this, get that tape down, And then I'm going to tape this down on my wrapped um, chipboard and figure out where I want to put that and then tape that down. Get this positioned, actually position this first before you get, you do your orange paper underneath. That way you know where it goes like that. Then you can get this positioned, get that tape down, make sure you ink everything, put your little pastry cutouts down in here. That way you know where this guy goes once he's all put together. And then ink the edges on this guy and put this one down. Then once this whole unit is done and you've got it fixed, then you can transfer it directly on top of your spine. That way you're not messing with the spine till everything is in place and then transfer it to the spine. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should go to bed yet. Hello, so we are on the back of the folio. So the front, I haven't applied all of the front yet. Here's the spine that we made. I think that's so pretty. That goes there. I haven't applied that yet. And then for the back, we're just going to use this. Real simple. This is from the 12 by 12. So this measures eight and seven eighths, eight and seven eighths by, let me use the pink. You can see the pink better. By, seven 
and a quarter, not quite seven and a quarter. So <laughs> it's almost seven and a quarter. So that's going to go back in here. So I've already cut it, inked my edges. So that's going to go down there. Pretty simple. Okay, so now we have just these two little spines that we need to do. This one and the one over here. So, <clears throat> what did I do? I cut this paper. This is from the 12 by 12. And this is nine, nine, this is eight and seven eighths inches long just like this paper, eight and seven eighths inches long by three quarters of an inch wide. Three quarters of an inch wide, eight and seven eighths long. Like that. Then I cut this orange dot paper from the 12 by 12. This is half an inch wide by eight and five eighths inches long. And that's going to fit like that. So here it is, I, I inked them and then I glued these two together, which is easier than you just put it down on here. Just make sure when you do these, cause I've already screwed up once. that when you adhere it, that you make sure that these two are aligned evenly. So just make sure they're lined up evenly. Otherwise, I, I had one that was a little bit higher than the other and it didn't look didn't look quite right, so I had to take it off. But it will look something like this when you're done, and may add a little circle or something here, I'm not sure, but that's going to be the way it is going to look. Okay, so let's get those spine covers in. What I did is I added, this is the 12 by 12 um, paper. Oops, here it is. So this is from the 12 by 12, the little polka dot butterflies. So this is going to be eight and seven eighths long. They're all eight and seven eighths long. This one, is not quite three quarters of an inch. It is four eighths, five eighths, five eighths of an inch wide. This guy is one and two, two, one and a half, one and five eighths. And then this last piece is not the butterfly, it's just the regular polka dot from the 12 by 12. And this is also five eighths. So five eighths, one and five eighths, five eighths, all the same height, eight and seven eighths. Then with this first panel here, here's our inside pockets over here. This is where we are going to be adhering our little recipe folio, this, this little guy. Remember this guy? He's going to go here, but I want him to be removable. Um, so we're going to put magnets in the back here. So I am going to adhere these. These are just placed. I mean, I'm just going to put them about right there, which is, you want to know kind of my measurements, 
about two inches in from each side, two inches by two inches up. And this is almost two inches, but just, they don't have to be perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna put those down and then we're going to cover those magnets with this paper. So this is your butterfly 12 by 12 also eight and seven eighths inches long by seven inches wide and that will cover our magnets so i'm going to go ahead and put this paper down over my magnets and then i will be right back so i have my other magnets ready to go Remember the magnets are underneath the paper and you just put your other magnets on top and they'll find each other so they know exactly where to go. So we're gonna transfer them to the back of your little booklet. So let me see if I can do this. Does that look straight? So let's see if I can go ahead and transfer those magnets. I might have to open this guy up to get if I can feel the magnets right there. See if those magnets transferred. Voila! Yay! Yay! So there, it just it, it's adhered there now. So now we just need to cover the back of this. So this is what I end up covering the back of my piece with. Um, I was basically dealing with scraps, but they had to be at, at least like eight and seven eighths inch long to cover this. So hopefully you guys, I'm sure you had some big sheets of 12 by 12 left and you can use those. Um, designing this, I've used lots of, cut into lots of paper. So hopefully you had, didn't do that. So this is going to go well there there it's it's stuck on there so that's that's it here so that's that so now we come to this piece that had our little um, plastic sheet inserts I took them all out took the prongs out this is just going to be adhered on straight back onto this panel so that's what I'm going to do I've already put in my tape so I am going to be open this up and getting it centered and then pulling my tape and once it's all adhered I'll add my my sheets again um, I think that should be enough tape I might put some more thinner tape in between. Lots of tape to hold this down. Or you can use glue. And then you're going to do the same thing with this last piece. You're going to be putting tape or glue and just adhering this down and then it's all complete. Hopefully you can see that. So I am going to be adhering this one down with my tape and then I'm going to be adhering this one down with my tape. 